Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio and welcome to your Tarot Love Readings um, you, for you versus them. So we are going to take a look at um, what's going on with you emotionally and your as well as your romantic interests here. Um, so we'll take a look at what messages are coming in for you here in terms of love, or romance and matters of the heart. The readings here are intended here for Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio, that's Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising, and even to those who are interested in cross-watching as well. So let's give the cards a shuffle here and see what messages are coming up for you here. Water signs. Okay, let's see what's going on with you here. Let's begin with you. We've got the Seven of Pentacles here. The Page of Wands, Temperance, and the Moon card here. Okay, um, for some of you, I feel like especially for those of you that are single, I'm getting the notion that you're waiting, okay, especially with the Seven of Pentacles here, okay, and Temperance has made an appearance in your spread. You're waiting here. What are you waiting for? You're waiting for the right time to communicate. You're wait waiting for the right set of circumstances to reach out. You're waiting for the right moment here to perhaps declare or profess your love for someone. You're waiting for the right energy here. You're waiting for something. You're waiting for the right person. You're waiting for the real thing. Um, lust won't do. No, you're waiting for love here. So for me, I'm getting that you're waiting. And you know what? I sense that some of you are getting a little bit frustrated. So this applies to whether you're coupled up or single. I'm sensing a sense of frustration. Things just aren't good enough. You feel as though things just aren't good enough. You feel as though they can be better, that you can be leaps and bounds ahead of where you're at, um, whether in a relationship or whether you're, um, you know, whether you're single and seeking love. For some of you, you feel like, you know, you, you've put in a lot of work into something or someone here. You've, maybe you've taken a lot of time to get to know someone here okay and water signs generally tend to be closed you know you can be emotionally guarded or you can be a little bit closed off here you can sometimes drape yourself in emotional arm and here you are you know you've poured a lot of yourself into getting to know someone you've um you've dropped your walls or your guard down for someone and still you feel as though you are not where you want to be here The card is all about patience though, okay, and whenever it uh, pops up in your tarot spread here, it, it serves as a reminder, you know, you need to focus on, you can't sort of touch your harvest right now, okay, because you need to focus on the long-term benefits, especially with this card that's made an appearance here, because it signifies that all the efforts that you're putting into something or someone here they may not necessarily be paying off now but they will pay off in the future okay so the reminder here is to be patient some of you i feel like maybe um, you've had a falling out with someone okay there was someone whom you've had a very um, a very powerful a very intense connection with and you feel as though you've had a, a falling out some of you are maybe waiting to get in contact with this person or maybe you're feeling a little bit stubborn here, Pisces. Now, you're waiting for them to reach out before you communicate here. Um, be patient. Be patient because I'm seeing that it's sort of reaffirming. To me, the cards are reaffirming of your long-term visions, okay? Um, so don't just fixate on the short-term only here. Think about long-term here. Because I feel like Um, to me, I'm seeing some of you are maybe even you've created compromises here in your routines or with your finances or just with your life here and still you don't have the results. You haven't yielded the results that you want. So for those of you that are waiting, I feel like for whatever it is that you're waiting for, you're going to have to be a little bit more patient is what I'm seeing water signs. Because with the page of wands, you do have some excitement. You know, for those of you that have gone through a period of stagnation, you feel as though there was no growth or there was no progression in a romantic connection or with our emotions or just with life in general, you are going to get some sort of breakthrough, okay? There is going to be a very powerful um, shift 
it feels very intense it feels very exciting very um, liberating very exhilarating here it could even be the arrival of a new romantic partner or someone old comes back again to you here but in a new light or maybe you revive a connection here so you will get the results you want maybe you haven't gotten them today and maybe not tomorrow guys maybe not even as soon as next week but if you just be patient and if you just trust the process and trust that you deserve all the good that is coming to you you will get it all okay you can have it all sometimes just not all at once the moon card here I, I am seeing that there are certain fears or anxieties that may be residing within you emotionally um, do not allow for any fears or anxieties to dictate your actions here especially for those of you that are you know in a relationship or even if you're single and you're looking for love here um, fears and anxieties here could be what's keeping you away from you know entering a relationship or finding the right one so for those of you who are waiting for something or someone here you're just going to have to be a little bit more patient for a lot of you i feel like it's almost like you're waiting for the turn of the tide or you're waiting for something to grow or you're waiting for something to happen or for someone to make a move or for your romantic interest to come forward with um you've been very patient with this person it's almost like you want to hurry the um the pace now let's see what's going on perhaps with your romantic interest here or with your crush here or with the connecting energy here water signs okay they have the ten of swords in reverse the four of pentacles the ace of swords and the four of swords okay this person definitely has you on their mind as you can see by all of this air energy okay so they've been thinking about you too it kind of makes sense that for, for those of you that are waiting a lot of you are waiting for communication right because communication is going to give you that breakthrough here so i feel like throughout the this month here or in the next coming weeks what i'm seeing for you is this person here is going to communicate with you there is something here that i feel like maybe there's something around this person's energy that i feel like is causing this person to feel some type of way there is something here that's weighing them down or something here that they're dealing with that they didn't necessarily see coming it could be financial challenges it could be emotional challenges um, it could be a betrayal or a distrust of some sort In, I don't think it's involved you though water um, energy I feel like it's a connecting energy around them here with the ten of swords in reverse for some reason I'm also seeing that this person is although they're thinking about you it's taken them a long time to kind of connect with you why it feels like it's taken them quite some time to connect or to reach out to um, you know re-establish a connection here I'm seeing that it's almost like with the ten of swords here in reverse it's almost like they're trying to survive something here so look I do feel like your person is going through something um, it could be that this person is going through some sort of in, um, uh, internal challenges internal battles here it could be that there is external factors around them that are influencing them to feel um, despair or to feel um, a relapse of some sort I'm also seeing that during this time apart between you and this person um, or during some time you know um, away from each other I'm not sure if this person has walked away from you or I'm not sure if this person has pulled away here but I feel like they've gone through some sort of there's been some lessons here that this person has learned and they've had you on their mind they've been wanting to communicate they've been wanting to reach out to you but I can see that this is someone who keeps to him or herself I can also see that I don't know that they always trust in the power of their words I feel like this person has a lot to say but a lot of the times they keep it to themselves here this is someone who's guarded this is someone who feels very protective of his or her emotions or their boundaries here someone who I'm seeing is a bit closed off here but they are going to reach out with communication it could happen in a matter of three weeks or even three days here you know sword energy is a very fast moving energy if I were to correlate it to a time frame I'm seeing days or even at the longest weeks um, but I am seeing things uh, communication this person is going to reach out to you or you will get some form of validation some uh, reaffirmation here that this person is thinking about you and he or she you know you are on his or her mind here so communication here I feel like 
that they're going through they're, they're learning some things okay they're going through some lessons here um they're learning some lessons here they're learning some hard um lessons but they are thinking about you. They've been wanting to reach out to you, but it's almost like they're scared. Are they scared that you're going to reject them? Are they scared that you're going to push them away? Have they done or said something to you here that makes them a bit fearful of reaching out and connecting with you again? It's almost like they carry feelings of shame or guilt here. Maybe they've been hurt in the past by you, or maybe they've hurt you in the past. And now it's a little awkward. They're not sure what to say. So um, let's just finish up the reading and see if we have any advice with regards to your connection. You have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Cups. Okay, I'm getting that this was a missed chance or a missed opportunity for you guys, Water Signs. Um, I'm getting that there was a lot of energy here. There was um, a strong potential for this connection but somehow someone missed the boat or somehow someone or maybe the both of you missed the chance or missed the opportunity to further explore this connection there was the potential to grow to to really get to know one another to really build this connection and to perhaps develop something long term and something serious and even like a future with this individual okay now just because you've missed the opportunity doesn't mean that you might not get another opportunity. I do feel like this person will connect with you. And what I'm seeing is learn from this. Okay, this is your energy here. Nurture that. There's something here that's made you push them away here. What is it? Dig into that. You know, look into it. Something something here has made you, I feel like, push them away. Um, or maybe they've pulled away here. You know, discover what it was here so you don't make the same mistake twice here, okay? Use that mistake as a learning tool because I'm seeing that the, there is a need for you to nurture this connection, okay? Nurture the relationship, nurture this connection, get to know one another. Allow this person to know you, who you really are, because you're a beautiful soul. You're a beautiful water energy. Allow them to know your depths. You're a vast sea of emotions here. You're a torrent of emotions, Allow them to see that beauty, that other world that resides within you. And once you do, I feel like this person will be swept up in you. Okay, guys, there you have it. So I just want to thank you for tuning in. Um, please show your support by subscribing to this channel, by liking, commenting, um, sharing. If you are interested in a personalized tarot reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. Otherwise, guys, I will be sharing with you more general tarot love readings throughout the week. So do stay tuned. Thank you guys again for your time and attention. Bye for now.